Hello, it's Ugg here. Welcome to Anno 1800. If you're enjoying content on the channel, please like, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. If you've already done that, thank you very much. You're awesome. You're really helping it out. So, yeah, I thought that I would play this uh, as a bit of a replacement. I like to build seas, and this game looks really, really nice. I've played it for a little bit, and I thought, hey, let's do the campaign. Why not? Let's see how it is. So there's a bit of talking at the campaign. So we will, we won't, we won't skip it. But we'll, uh, we'll make the the level up and we'll choose a difficulty and pick a portrait. I'm gonna go for this guy because he looks very distinguished. Uh, he's got like a, he's got like a, a blue, a blue little bandana there or blue baldric and a little medal. So yeah, he, he looks fabulous. And weirdly eyes. Mm. Anyway. Uh, how much should we go with? We'll go for these things. They look like sausages. We'll tap poles or something. Islands, maybe? I don't know. And we'll, we'll go with blue. We don't want pink. What blue? Oh, fish. They're fish. <laughs> well, I've got all the content for it, so hopefully we'll be able to see that. And we'll, we'll, uh, we'll give myself a name. Always good. Call myself. Call yourself here. I don't really know what these things are. I mean. Uh, <sighs> I'll be able to change these skins later. I don't know what they mean. I'll have an Imperial train and the Imperial command ship. <laughs> it's just skins. And we'll go for a normal game because I've never, never replayed. I haven't replayed this game before. So here we go. I'm just trying to get comfortable in my chair. It's super hot today again. So let's um let's watch the cutscenes and stuff. Don't worry, it'll be a slightly longer episode first time around. If it ever gets around to actually loading though, don't worry. I kind of watched a guide to doing this. I don't really understand the shares and stuff like that. Hey, you never know. We might lose. It, it does happen. These things do happen. But I think we're going to have fun while we do it. Right, let's just watch this then. It looks awfully pretty, though. The more there's no talking, I'll um, I'll just yammer on for a little bit. So, Since right. that day you saved my life, I have presumed I knew you. But now... A thousand letters from your father go unopened, yet one scribbled from your sister changes everything. I didn't even know you had a sister. We are broke, old pal. We can't afford a passage back to your old world, back to your family. Not unless you suddenly remembered what work is. Dynamite fishing? You're serious? <laughs> well, the village north is always short on food. Remember probably... when we escaped the pits back when? <laughs> Still some dynamite left. Yeah, anyway, they're going to probably talk quite a bit, so I'm going to be interrupted quite a bit, but there we go. Let's, uh, let's go and uh, get some dynamite from the, uh, from the, the Here it is. lighthouse. Just get plenty of distance on the throw. And then we gotta go and kill some fish. Die fishes. Still trying to get used to that smell of char. If this is the game, I'm gonna win. Just fine. That's not pretty though. What the chimichurri was that boom? I've got the help turned on you just to remind me. For opportunity. After all, it's not TNT the locals are short of. <laughs> Then we're gonna go and take. The oh my god! They could ever want. Dude never shuts that up. First bang! I knew it was you. <laughs> so come show me what you got this time. That was good, Dad. Ah, wasn't it? That burnt reek. Ugh. Hand over. Here are your tickets. Hurry, drifters. The boat is leaving soon, and nobody wants you to miss it. More talking, more waiting. Enjoy the cutscene, though. So, this is it. We're leaving paradise behind. You never talk much about family and the like. But you're dead serious about this, aren't you? No matter. I made a vow to defend you. And I don't break an oath. Even if a blind man could see you leap into the deepest pit of dung. 
It's called transfer ship, by the way. It's not a very good name for a ship, is it? What we call your ship? We call it transfer ship. It looks pretty, though. We we'll get I the Indiana never Jones. Asked oh. anything of you, firstborn. Not when you stole away a tiptoe, leaving the family burden at your little sister's door. Our father no, is accused of high treason. Dare you to believe it? Will you now stand I by, knowing gentle father is endungeoned? It must kill him. Please come home. We need you. I hate when you get endungeoned. Is it really you, dearest sibling? I never dared hope you'd return. Do you remember Bright Sands? Of course you do. We loved it here. It's changed now. The Royal Council support Uncle Edvard. Father barely cold, and he's pulling everything down. Those houses. You never said how wealthy you were. <laughs> Why were we selling fish and sleeping in barns? Never told your friend of good and sons. There is much to be said, but not now. Dear father's funeral begins. Have you been? Without you brats, we'll never be done with this obligation. Looks like death claimed the wrong brother. No matter, so few are here, when they are the few he loved most. Nobody likes a traitor, let alone his tainted offspring. Better make yourself scarce. We shall, dear sibling, for now. I have acquired a small island with the last of my funds, and passage for all still loyal to father. Together, we shall clear his name, or die trying. Your sister reminds me of you. Must mean new adventures await, old pal. This is it. Ditch water. End of the world. I hope you like it quiet. We'll get to do something in a second. Ditch War as well. Lovely name for a place. Nope. What? Okie dokie. Still oh. here. Establishing a... Shut up. Let Uncle Edvard scoff. A modest island, yes, but if you are at all like father, you we must shelter the good, loyal people. We need every hand we can get if we... Yeah, okay, so they basically build an island, look after it and stuff. It looks very pretty, though. It looks very pretty. Um, uh, you know, I wish I had a sister who bought me an island. That would be really handy. Okay, right, but anyway, so what we got to do is it's up a marketplace. We're going to blueprint mode. I know this much, so this lets you um, proto build things. I'm not going to pretend like I know how to play this game very well, so we'll all be learning together. We've got stuff on the map that's irritating. So uh, we've got, like, rotating things. I'm going to, like... Put my marketplace in there. Build some roads. We've got to attach the roads to the. And we'll put like a little thing around our marketplace here. Right, like so. Why is it a bit loud? Hold on. Give me a second. Yeah, it does seem a bit loud. Hold on. The volume in this game is like really strange. It's like. Stop being so noisy. I can hear myself. Can't hear myself think for the music. <laughs> Right, so I think that the um, the uh, lumbering is going to be done over here because we've got some lumbery bits. Uh, this is in the way, but that's fine. I mean, we can just build some houses out. Oh, we build some houses down this way and out this way, out this way. So a bit of road, 
Uh, where are we putting it? Like, hold on. Uh, like there. So we're gonna put some houses. Maybe I want to leave little, a little bits of gaps of beautification and stuff later on. So, um, so it's not gonna be like the perfectly designed. <laughs> like I could design anything perfectly but I mean you know it's not gonna be like you know neat is the word the word I'm looking for is neat right got a little bit look a little ramshackle um also I'm gonna do that with the right I don't know how to delete roads do I just how do I do that um can I relocate a bit of road no okay can I build over roads uh, no, I can't. How do I delete a road? Um, yeah, I'll make it a feature. That's what they—that's what they say in these things, isn't it? A feature, right? So let's slam down some houses. Some houses down there, and we'll put—we'll put the well, the the ghosts of houses anyway. Uh, and we'll put in some right here. And we'll put uh, maybe. Tell you what, we'll do that. There you go. And we'll put in like a house there and a house there, a house there. And we'll 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 put. Oh, right, that's a number of houses. That's quite a few houses, right? And then what you do is once you've done that, you just go you and build them. You reach a new milestone. Thank you. Uh, how many houses we got to build? We got to build ten. Okay, uh, and lots more stuff. How much would we got? Four. Do you remain here out of spite? Is that like sp so salt spire? I'm gonna Google Miserly, that. uncharitable dastard, picking and choosing what he inherits. Did she just call him a dastard? <laughs> a dastard? Right. <laughs> What are we doing? Right, we've, we've got to attract 30, 30 farmers. We've got to get 30 farmers. That's fine. Uh, what we'll do is we'll plot in some lumbering. So, lumberjack's hut. So, we just got to give space around the lumberjack. So, this lumberjack's got to have like. a bit of space there. And a bit of road. Um, here we go. Right. And we want a bit of road up there. And then we want another lumberjack. We want like two. And there's a reason why this, because apparently, like, it takes 15 seconds to gather wood. And it takes 15 seconds to make a plank. So if I do that, and then I put another one in. Um, I'm not sure how to show the radiuses around things. I can use the age old method of putting my finger on the screen. That always works. Uh, I'm sure there's a way to show those um, radiuses. Um, See what slander Edvard prints in Bright Sands. I'll put that in there. Samuel's child, is it? See, put in there. Heavens, I am so ashamed of every single word your uncle had me print. I'm not convinced he does. I think he dislikes the money. He twists every article in his favour at our and father's expense. Right, so we put that through to... Actually, we'll put that through to there. And we'll put in, like, a, a road down here. And we'll put that in there. And then we've got to put, like, a... A warehouse in. Which will serve for, like... We'll put it here. It's got to be even so that we can move things though, look, we can pick things up and move them um, eventually, see that we can move things as well, so we're not, it's not too stressful, you can, you can correct mistakes if you've made mistakes, not that I'm going to make mistakes of course, <clears throat> I'm going to make loads of mistakes, uh, what do we need to do, uh, we need to clear a residence, so we can clear this residence now, so we our get rid of these things, wanted us to sit eventually, our while our one prospect was in such a state, we can clear so that let's as well. Gather our townsfolk and ask them to spruce the place up. Morning is eased. Now we have others for company, sibling. 
And what you do, you get it's wood for doing this. Of labor for us all. We should cater to our tired, hungry people. Alright, we'll cater to them in a second. Give me a second, darling. Ugga's got things to be doing, like looking for these stupid houses to wreck. It just gives us more stuff. Right. Apparently my city's grown more beautiful, weirdly enough. Okay, right. So we've got a, we've got a bunch of uh, wood now. So we've got 50 wood, so we can get on and build these. So let's build this, and then this, and then this, and Timber. then this, and Very then good. this. I'll try not to think of the coffin. I don't think of the coffin. Wrecking woman. Right. What brings you here, master? Well, I don't know. Okay, right, so next thing we have to do, right, so um, obviously this, this marketplace brings food and stuff to these houses, so let's build some more houses now, so we've got the wood, the wood and we jig, uh, we're trying to get like 100 farmers, we can do that, we can get 100 farmers together, um, we need to build a fishery, so I do like the way this looks though, I do like it, the way it all looks like really kind of cool. Like you can build these things, and they, and also the thing I really like is like, look, you can connect it like there, or you can connect it all the way back there, or you can like, well, you can't do that, but you can like, you can do these really long. Look, I could do that if I wanted to, and have a really long fishing dock. I mean, I might do that. I don't know. I presumably you can rotate it as well. Yeah, look, I could do. Well, not like that. I could, I can't do that either. All that, but you know, I could do that, which is cool. Looks really good. It looks really excellent, but I won't. I won't do that in a moment. I mean, I'm sure we can shift it all around. We'll just, we'll just kind of put it in like there to start with, and then that's only a blueprint. And then we'll, we'll build a nice road across the back of that there, right? Because uh, obviously they've got to use roads to transport stuff about. So um, now we've done that, we'll, we'll build that. So that that will mean that we've got people bringing fish into that warehouse. As you can see, they can supply that bit, and this marketplace, if it's green, it's supplying these buildings. We make the best of what we are. So these buildings need fishes, and they need work clothes. We haven't got the technology. We're going to get that in a second. Okay, but wood is obviously just a basic building chunk, So, and we've got that from all these red buildings, so we can't do that yet. What have we got? We can't clear that one yet. We've got some more stuff. Oh, no, not yet. Oh, more wood. Uh, right, cool. It looks so pretty as well. Look at it. This is Evil Island. Ooh. This is uh, this is where you want to be. All the cool kids want to be in ditch water. Right. Uh, where are we going then? So we've got. Um, I just love the fact you can sort of like sit there and look at this stuff, and it's like so cute. So they're clearly just taking fish into the warehouse. If you click on this here, you can see everything we've got. So we've got loads of wood. Um, loads of... Um, well, we've got loads of fish. We've got quite a bit of fish. But, um, but they cost 25... How much? How many people do they cost? Yeah, it's 25 workers. So if we go up here, we can see how much, what's our population. So we've got like 74 people out of uh, 130 and I think we've got more people than we actually have jobs at the moment but don't worry we're gonna sort that out because we are going to um, soon be getting when we get like up to 100 farmers we are going to have more jobs to do because we are going to set up some farms um, yeah that's what I mean I, I'm not that's what I mean when I say I'm not going to like set it up all like prim and proper like there's going to be like odd numbers and it's going to look a little bit I mean that might that might annoy some people but I want to build I always build things square and stuff and it's quite square anyway so that might it might annoy people but not you know bear with me folks I want to put beautification and stuff and make it look pretty 
I don't know how to delete roads. Oh, I should work out how to do that. Demolish. Is that just like a little bit of road there? Hey, excellent. Okay, that's how you do that. Cool. So there's a little demolish tool somewhere. There. Uh, upgrade. Okay, cool. Right, that's just you to do that though. Okay, nice. So we just got to wait a little bit more before some more people turn up. Oh, I'll tell you what we can do. Oh, we just build another house. I don't think I need to go so blueprinty at the moment. Excellent, that's just attracting enough farmers there. There they are. I love how you zoom in the detail. Look, they, the detail is there, but you, well, not at this level, but you don't really see it until you zoom in. Barn's filled with owls. We must have dormice. And also, that kid can play that game of the hoop. That's amazing. That's really hard to do. <laughs> Very good. Good. The child will be a prodigy. You reached a new milestone. So we got a new. We, we're now a village, which means we've got schnapps and work clothes. Which means we're going to have to like help enough get that to demolish sorted. the larger ruins. Let's breathe some life into this place. What else we got? Well, we can't get all the ruins yet. No, it's, it's quite a strict ruin schedule. Okay, right. It's been a long, hard day. The people need to rest. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, he thinks he needs, we need schnapps. I need schnapps. Right, I'm not sure where we're going to put the schnapps. Uh, right, so let's look at the supply chain for the schnapps. We need a potato farm and we need a schnapps distillery and obviously a, a small warehouse to store the schnapps in. Um, there's nothing particularly in this corner very exciting, is there? We could go over there, so let's do that. All right, let's just extend our let's extend it over here, and we'll make. Um, is that demolishable? Not. Oh no. When I look into your people's faces, I see trouble. When I look into their faces, sure I see people who want beer. Yeah. Well, it won't become a problem as long as we get some beer in them. Okay, right. So, a farm, a potato farm. We've got to plant some potatoes. Right. I just. Uh, the aesthetic is so pretty. It's so good looking. I'm, I've never really played an anime game. So, well, I've played one, but I played the modern one and it was all a little bit. I don't know. A bit weird. So, here we go. We've got. A factory and a factory and I think the reason why is because when you get a potato farm going uh, potatoes 30 seconds and 30 t seconds to do schnapps to so it's like a one-to-one -one relationship so we've got to build some we've got to build some farms uh, where is it farmed if there are enough fields we All right. must plant them I don't know the optimum way to do this I'm sure there's some like super clever way to do all this stuff but I think you'll remember. I checked the manifests. Not I ain't that all guy. Our facilities are able to deliver the goods they produce. Please correct the situation. Um, that's a bit of an error. I don't know why it's seventy-two. It's weird. Maybe it's so you can put a house if you start it in the corner there and drag it out. Hold on, we'll try that. Give me a second. Can we get rid of you? Can we demolish this? No. Um. I don't know how we get rid of them. I'll work it out later on. Anyway, so we've got um, that there and that there. So that means we need to put a small warehouse down to facilitate the delivery of the schnapps so excellent okay right so they're not very happy you can see they're not happy this luxury goods worries. gives them happy happiness don't want worries all right they want clothes yeah all right but uh they uh 
a pub is what, where they drink the schnapps. Stop, stop it. Right. Uh, and we'll put the pub in there. It's a nice little orifice for the pub to go in. There we go. So nice and close to the pub. Nice. So they can just visit the pub when they want entertainment or more important schnapps or something. I don't know. Next thing we've got to do is get uh, work clothes. Important to get work clothes. And I presume that these people live in cheap wool sacks because I believe that the um, choice of clothing is the sheep farm to the fi or framework knitters. Okay, so. All right, stop it. All right, sheep farm. Um, I'm not sure where we're going to put the sheep farm. We could put the sheep farm over here, I guess. Or well, maybe we should leave this over for, sh for Schnapp's production. I should move the sheep farm, like, maybe over over here? I don't know. Maybe I should just have different sectors for these things. That sounds like a reasonable idea, doesn't it? So over here, the sheep farms will be... I reckon I can do... All right, sheep farm, and we can put another one in, like... If we do, like, uh, I can put it, like, say, there, and then I can put in a... one of these here, one of these here. And now, I know these are not going to be the optimum configurations of things. And then we can build that across there, that across there. And um, then we just got to put a, since the funeral, a and warehouse. The <laughs> Why, it was extortionate. You're tired of not. Repay me now, or sell up. Are you telling me what to do? I feel sick to the Thought stomach spy. that Edvard could ask so much of us so soon after Father's death. The land put that there. Farmed if there are enough fields. Yeah, we'll put a market a not a marketplace, a small warehouse in there. The manifests. Not all our facilities are able to deliver the goods they produce. And then we put Please in uh, build some situation. farms. No. Build some fu I think maybe I've, I know more than the tooltips are letting on. I think that's three farms Your in there. Are recovered and, and desirous to proceed. Set them to it. We're going to need as much space as we can clear. And maybe like, yeah. So we've got some sheeps. There they are, hello sheepies. Um, we are low on humans. So we're low on humans, right? So let's see what we got. Population, right, so. We've got a plenty of farmers. But these, I believe, require workers. Farmers. Now oh, they just require farmers. Still, we just need a lot more farmers. These ones require farmers. There's just farmers everywhere. Okay. Fine. We just need to speak to our humble cousin. He writes of a worker riot in Bright Sands. Hey, right. Uh, this. It seems we are not alone in our contempt for Edvard. Put that there. Ready to repay my charity? Am I? Uh, yeah, go on. It's only four Thank bottles of schnapps. Well, I'm sure we can handle with that. Um, right. And then we need to put in some houses, some I more farmers' residents. But if farmers' smocks are all you have. Is there no limit to Uncle's shameless demands? I right, just put that in there. Workforce shortage. Right, we are short on workers. How many workers we need? 155. We're getting close. We got like 160. Uh, we we are still a few houses short, aren't we, of the number of workers we need? Um, where are we gonna put? Right. Okay, it's fine. Some more residences in.
and a few more over here right so a bit of luck yeah all right we got plenty we're like yeah we got plenty we got plenty of workers okay right so what else we got to do uh, we got a quest book bees of the poor what do they want find your cousin leading them off okay let's and black sheep and family have work for work clothes and storage okay so how do we do this bit uh no but ah, that's it so we go here speak to our humble cousin he writes of a worker riot in bright sand where is our humble cousin ah it's here howdy damn you Oh no, it's that guy. Ugh. Do we have someone in here we can talk to? Or do we have to go over to here to chat? I believe maybe the dude was over here. Hold on. This is the graveyard. Um... Find your cousin, event quest details. Oh. Oh, okay. One of your cousins is Bright Sands, I know by your uncle. By the vicinity of the Great Exhibition Foundations. Okay, right, that's this is the Great Exhibition Foundation, so it's gotta look for this dude. I hear a right. Where is the dude? Commerce and industry can haul good and stuff. Stop it. Oh. I'm not sure where this guy is. He's near here. Is this the great exhibition? Yeah, it's the World Fair. Of glazing. Alright. Tell me you've managed something. No, let's have a look. One of your cousins. You can jump to requested location by clicking on the quest in the game world. Oh, okay. Bah, bah, black sheep. Have oh, okay, you so... Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Four bags full. For your cousin leading a mob. Where is the mob? I hear a mob. This shouldn't be so difficult to find. Where are you, cousin? Bloody hell. I'm sure I'm sure you'll all be like enraged that I can't find this guy. Hold on. It seems we are not Stop alone it. in our contempt for Edvard. These guys should be a lot more discoverable. <laughs> Where are you, mob? Oh, is it there? We'd rather die than stay. That was un uncommonly difficult to do. No more. All right, so we got to find five writing mobs in this city, based on how easy it was to find. Oh, there's one. Gotcha. We're having more luck. It looks nice though. I want a city like this. Look at this city. It looks much nicer than my city. Apart from the fact it's full of rioting mobs. Oh, there's one. Yeah. 
disperse. I don't know if I'm dispersing them or... We'll use our ears. Workforce shortage. I feel like my city is going to ruin while we do this. I'm not sure what this is teaching me. Is it teaching me that there are mobs of writers? Oh, their farms look a lot nicer. Than is that a farm or is that a funeral? Is that a graveyard? That is a, f it's a farm. Oh, there's a mob. The mobs are very cool. Oh, what did I say? Strike. Alright. Stop telling me things. Right. And there should be one more riot. Or mob. So you gotta walk around the city. So, hey, uh. A life away from Edvard. We're on board. Only we've no shit to get on board of. Okay, that's good for you. If you pick me, you may have my boat. It's my poor aunt's legacy. Her second husband was a decent sailor. Everybody on board? Good. I, I, I shiver at the thought of staying here another second. Let's get out of there. What? Does look nicer. Has your cleft of the family no shame that it now resorts to abducting my workers? The Queen's <laughs> ambassador himself shall hear of this. That's the Queen's ambassador Abduction time. Is a severe accusation. It is. And if I may, uh, excuse me, a false one. We left Edvard quite willingly. <sighs> pencil polishing Poppin Jay. I should have been rid of you long ago. Everyone looks at pencil popping Poppin Jay. Criminal. A bit of interfamilial bickering is only natural, <laughs> and hardly a matter for the crown. And as for you, I have quite forgotten my manners, Sir Archibald Blake, ambassador and confidant to the Queen. Despite the circumstances, Her Majesty and I were pleased to hear of your return. Your father's death was a tragedy. We regret he never had the chance of a fair trial. The real tragedy here is the vast funeral bill that goes unpaid, while this brat is living the life of O'Reilly. Yes, sadly, your uncle has indeed alerted me to some uh, floating liabilities. I fear you have no choice but to settle them if I am to grant you your crown shipping license. Edvard registered the debt officially. Don't worry. That old tyrant can't hold us back anymore. Indeed. Once my letterpress is up and running, the truth will come back to haunt Edvard. Uh, for your hospitality, please use my ship howsoever you may wish. Now that sounds like good news. We got ourselves a ship. Oh. As to the debt, my hands are tied, but it may warm Her Majesty's heart to see a new enterprise taking shape. Let's see how many workers we are short of. Fifteen. So that's like two houses worth. I Maybe used Edvard my math will skills. Try to prevent us owning a shipyard, but for now, let's at least house those workers. Right. Okay, right. So you can upgrade these residents when they've had all their when they've had all their needs met. They can actually nice day for it. So if I get some workers, not you, obviously, uh, you, right? Bomb reached a new milestone. Age of industrialization. So let's see how many workers we need. Oh, 
uh, production. Can no, stubborn stop. debris on Ditchwater. If it's to be the center of our new enterprise, it needs to be immaculate. Oh, we got ten of those. We're short on farmers now, though. Honest work. That's all we ask. Yeah, we need more farmers. We're like seriously short on farmers. Our dream of a shipyard is impossible without plenty of qualified hands. Why do farmers live in such shit old houses? Uh, farmers residence. All right, okay, that's fine. What do we need then? We need 150 workers. That's quite a few workers, isn't it? We got like it's fine. I've just got to work out the like the the statistics of it. Okay, right. And we're still a little short on we're still a little short on population as well. 330. Uh, we haven't got all most of our houses are, are disturbingly full. Right, these people have got more needs than other people. Um Oh, this is jobs that workers do. Ooh. Right, okay. Okay, right, so... Nice! Right, we are... So, what's the happiness? Uh, pollution. Oh, God, there's pollution. Always pollution. Okay. Ooh, what's this? Ooh. Right, oh, we can clear that out. Cool. We've got more houses we can tear down. Not quite yet. So that's a clay depot. That's cool. All right. What's this then? Up with a lark this morning, I was. All right, they've almost cleared that. Okay, we're six workers short of having how many we need, which is nice. And we've got some uh, some bricks, which is always nice. And I think we've probably done this mission as well. Oh no, working class. So this is... Is that working class heroes? Or is this like a resident quest? What is this? <laughs> it's like... Um, no. What does it do? I don't know. I think we're in the... I think this is the one. Okay, let's just check out this bit. Right. Every, all, the, all the goods and everything is going up, apart from... Pigs sausages and clay we need to get that industry in place so i think we've made a good start we've got a bit of a working village and um, we've got potatoes we've got wood we've got all the things that we need we've got houses uh, and a ship oh we should send that ship off quickly to go investigate um off you go ship farewell right nice So, I would just like to say, if you've watched this far, thank you very much. If you have enjoyed the content, please like, subscribe, ring the bell for the notification. It's absolutely excellent and helpful if you've done that. Um, and I will see you for the next thing that goes up on the channel. Thanks a lot. Goodbye.